Well, good evening everybody. My name is Dr. J.D. Swanson and I'm the author of Karate Science. Um, welcome to lesson number five. And so what I want to do today is I want to expand upon what we did last time. Okay, so that's that four, what, basic four-step drill. And what we're going to be doing is adding some other components to it. Some basic kicking, some sort of combination techniques to make the world a little bit more exciting. So before we start, remember or don't forget that the way you want to do this is you want to warm up, make sure that everything's moving and fluid. I've already warmed up, it just saves time. We only have 15 minutes together, right? So what we're going to do is from here, if you remember the basic four-step drill, is we step forward with our left leg, hami, shawman, forward with our right, hami, shawman, back with our right, hami, shawman, back with our left, Hami Shawman. So make sure that you go through and practice that piece. Then from there, practice it with whatever combination of blocks that you want. Right? It can be Gadamarai. It can be Agyuke. It can be Sotuke. It can be Uchuke. Right? Whichever block sort of floats your boat. So again, you want to go through practice it. Gadamarai, 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 Gadamarai. Aguke, 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 soto, soto, and so forth. Practice every single one of those, and of course, with Shuto across to Zenkutsu Gyakuzuki. What I want to do now is I want to expand on that a little bit. So, what we're going to do is we're going to add multiple techniques. So, the basic version for this is going to be the same four steps. All I want you to do is just step forward, make Gerambarai, then from here, Gyakuzuki. Make Kamai, just put the hand back out, then Jora, then back. Then the same with the next leg. One, two, three, four, five. Then back, itch, knee, sum, sheep, go. Then with the other leg, itch, knee, sum, sheep, go. Just like so. The key thing here is really pay attention to your hips. The idea of this is working out that synovial fluid in your hip joint and allowing the hips to be nice and fluid with your motion. So when you think, when you're down here, feel, push, feel, pull, feel, push. So it's about this one, two, one kind of action. Boom, 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 boom. This kind of action. So allow the hips to make that nice, simple fluidity. So what I'd like you to do is practice that same idea. If I just do Gerambarai, Ni, San, Shi, that feeling. Now practice that with all of the blocks. Gerambarai, Agyuke, Sotuke, Uchuke, Shutuke. Shutuke, of course, one, two, three, four. If you're cleverer, one, two, three, four. Try reversing across stances. So what I'd like you to do, press pause here, give that a go. Run through it multiple times until it starts to feel good. Until you feel that sort of pa 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 kind of feeling. Okay, so next, what you can do is you can start to play now with that middle technique. So as you know, in karate, it's not just chokazuki. So from here, what you may want to try, as you might want to try, for example, I'm going to do them with Geran Marai, you would insert block X with whatever you want. Geran, Age, Soto, Ichi, Shuto, whatever floats your boat. I'll just show with Geran Marai, just really for the sake of time. So what I want you to do now is practice same hip motion. It's still going to go Hami, Shawman, Hami, Shawman, Hami. Hami, Shawman, Hami, Shawman. And then Hami again. Allow it to go through that same pom 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 pom, that same feeling. But what we're going to alter, instead of coming to Kamei in between, we're going to do something else with this hand and this hip, hip action. A couple of things to remember. 
Don't forget about that rear leg driving. Don't make it one, two, and just sort of leave this all collapsing and horrible. Allow this hip here to push underneath you every single time. Or even if I'm here, allow and be aware of this motion. Keep this leg here, actively push, 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 each time, push, 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 push. Allow this to control it as you do that expansion and contraction we've talked about in other classes. So what we're going to do is let's change the middle movement. So one of the most basic that you can think of, we make Gerambarai, we punch Gyakuzuki, from here instead of making Kamai, we make Kazamazuki. Gyakuzuki, Kamai. So from here, one, two, three, four. This feeling. This feeling. One, two, three, four. This feeling. Pom, 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 pom. So that one's easy, right? From there, of course, you can now change the trajectory from being a straight in attack to one coming on angles. So for example, you could try Gerambarai, punch, and this time, Arakanichi, Gyakuzuki, back to Kamai. From here, Gerambarai, Gyakuzuki, Arakanichi, Gyakuzuki, Arakan, Gyakuzuki, back to Kamai. So, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, a little bit of speed. Pum, pum. This feeling. One, two, three, four, five. This feeling. So you could try Urakan as your next one. From here, you could also try Shito Uchi. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. A little bit of speed. Pum, pum. This feeling. One, two, three, four, five. This feeling. Okay, so that nice dynamic. But of course, now we've got two coming this way. We now need a technique to come the other. So let's try Haito. Coming around and off the hip. Again, notice how these motions are synchronized with hip. I'll break, make more of that later. So trying here, Geiran punch, Haito, Gyaku, Kamai. Right? Geiran balai, punch, Haito, punch. A little bit of speed. One, two, three, four, five. Whoop, back to Kamai. Well, I made a mistake. I'm allowed. One, two, three. One more. One, two, three, four. This feeling. One more. One, two, three, four. There we go. Right? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. This feeling. So you can see, I need practice as well. This is why we're training. One, two, three, four, five. This feeling. So what you've got, the thing that's really important here is feel the technique. Hip, 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 hip. Practice these pieces. So try it again. Get on but I one, two, three, four. Aguke, one, two, three, four. Sotuke, one, two, three, four. Uchuke, one, two, three, four. Shutuke, one, two, three, four. Again in the shuto, you can practice one, make the drive, and then think I'll do the hard one because I suck. We fight it up. Three, four, five. This feeling so allowing to make kokots and then throw or it could be one two three this kind of feeling so again feeling that same dynamicism among the stances that we worked on a few days ago you can start to play with that so with that press pause try and wrap it out i will be tonight as you can imagine 
and then what we'll do, we'll move on to the next step. Okay, so let's do the third one. This time, what we're going to do is we're going to replace the punch with kicks. So the basic sense of this is get on the making my place come up. Down, my giddy, whoop, my giddy, hold, place. I'm getting ahead of myself. So one, two, three, then up, then back, one, two, three. Then next one, one, two, three. This feeling. So allow body, hip, connection of technique. Allow body, hip, connection of technique. Allow body, hip, connection of technique. Technique. So you can practice that in a simple way with just maigiri. One, two, three, four. Agyuke, sotuke, uchike, shutuke. What you can do next is, of course, we have more than just the one kick. So practice it with the other kicks. For example, get on barai. From here, yoko geri kiage. You can do this off the back leg, off the back leg, or you can practice it off the front, off the front. Choice is yours. So from here it would look, or it would look. Either or. You can also practice yoko gere kikomi. So from here, you would step forward, make the full kick, and then expand back. Make the full kick, and then pull back. Your choice. Also, mawashi gere. Stepping back or stepping forward, one, then make the kick, and back. Here, make the kick, and back. Again, control your body through the kick. Uh, e, uh, uh, uh. Not, and not, control. This is kihon waza, this is basic training. So allow it to strengthen, to strengthen your hip and body. So again, what you can do is you can mix this up with the blocks. Get on barai, might be maigiri. Agyuke, might be yoko gere kikiage. Sotuke, might be kikomi. Uchuke, mawashi giri. Kokuchutuke, kazami giri. Or kazami mawashi. Whichever one floats your boat. So again, start to practice through those. A couple of notes about kyage or about the um, kokutsudachi technique. When you make kokuts, be very careful that your front hip does not rise up. Don't lift up and away as you kick. Because if I'm trying to kick something, I lift up and away, I'm not gonna reach it. I must remain down and kick. I must keep the weight of my hip and lift my knee high. So when I make my giddy out of back stance, just hold here, push down, lift up, or even washi giddy, just allow the technique to go. It still works. Okay, so what I'd like you to do now is practice gerambrai, agyuke, sutuke, uchuke, shutuke. One, two, three, four for each. Press pause now, have a go with that. So what we've done is we've talked about some very basic types of techniques. We've talked about getting the hips moving smoothly. Boom, 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 boom. Keeping that rear connection to the floor. Keeping the weight not coming off the sled. Keeping the weight down, keeping the push in and under. And that's not just for the Gyakuzuki, but also for technique X. Whatever else we're doing, here, we're still not reaching this way, 
we're reaching this way. Allow that to push. And again, work on that hip fluidity. Boom, 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 boom. That feeling. For the second round with the kicks, think about that block. Think about trying. And hold everything else in place. Don't this. Just keep here, 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 here. Control your arms because that allows you to move wherever you need to move. If you must control your arms and legs. So allow them to control themselves. If you have trouble with this, go slower. Work the muscles up. There's an excellent video if you go through my Facebook feed that actually has Dr. Matthew Payne sitting there in, weight, in a weights vest and ankle weights, kicking a wall. Build the strength up in your legs and hips to be able to do that. Also, so with that, that's all we've got time for today. Tomorrow I'll come in with two more variations on the same stepping pattern, and then we'll move on a little bit. So with that, hey us, um, I'd like to give a quick shout out. My very good friend, Sensei George Vance, just released his first self-training video for you all to watch. Of course, they're way better than mine. I'll link them in the bottom here. Check them out. And as always, check out trainings. There's ones going on by um, both Greg and Debbie, Debbie Hoppermazian. There's one going on by the Elliots. There's one going on by the O'Briens, right? They're all live trainings. So if you can make them, take them. Mine, mine are designed for whenever you can't make those ones. So go in into self-training, be critical of your own training. So take advantage of all these opportunities. I wish they had the stuff when I was growing up. So with that, take care, have an awesome Friday night. Tonight is Friday for me, and I'll see you all soon. Take care, bye.